Hey guys, so we're gonna do another one. Um, this is a um, 2000 and 2000 Silverado, and it has a truck Norris cam and um, some other stuff in it. It's got some big tires and uh, 513 gears. And so the customer just kind of did the first start and the first log. And so we're gonna go in and just check a couple of things. Um, the first thing we need to do is go in here to our misfire counters. And it looks like these are going to be read only. So I may have to get with HP tuners to um, try and make that to where we can edit these because I know it's throwing a code. So that's going to be a little bit of an issue. We want to go to DTCs though. This customer has deleted the EGR. So we want to see if we can find any EGR specific I haven't done one of the EGR deletes in a while, so it should say it. Here we go. EGR circuit, no error reported. Exhaust gas, okay, we wanna go ahead and just, I wanna go ahead and turn that off. The exhaust gas circulation position, we don't need to do anything with that. Just anything you see that's EGR related don't see anything else. So we'll leave that like that is and see if it's still throwing a code or anything. The next thing is the customer was saying that it's idling a little bit low. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna bump everything up to like 750. Um, go there. And also on the startup um, airflow, it is um, struggling just a little bit to stay running. So we're gonna put another, hmm, let's put another four pounds an hour in it. See if that'll help it start up. And we're also gonna go to spark. Um, negative seven is kind of my number um, to let these things, to in the direction these things get to swing. So I wanna do that. EGR has been deleted. So we wanna go into this EGR base table and uh, set that all to zero. You do not need that. Um, and I believe he sent us a log. The only other next thing, let's see, recovery rate. I already multiplied those. What else? I'm just kind of going through his log file and just kind of looking at stuff. I think I left long term fuel trims on. It has the OEM map sensor. Let's go to his log file. You'll have to ignore the name of the, the truck. All the files are named what they are. It's kind of funny. Um, interesting. Hmm. Spark retard. He must have not, not. He must have not taken it out and driven it. Let's see. Let's go to our fuel trims table. That's what we're really concerned with. Hmm. Looks a little bit lean down low. Yeah, so it's definitely gonna need some fuel, it looks like. Hmm, okay. And uh, let's see, oxygen sensors look to be oscillating pretty well. So let's go back in here to airflow, math calibration. And down low, let's just put 5%, so 1.05 in it times, and go up here, the interpolation's already kind of done. Interpolate that, and let's look at our cranking VE2000 Silverado. So let's see what we've got in our stock tune file. Here we go, boom, there you go. Zero, no changes. So let's take let's take 15% of the cranking v at, VE out and just see if that kind of helps the helps the startup. Um, the next thing I'd like to do is I wanna go to my, yeah, there's not much in this log file to really look at, which is not a big deal. You know, the vehicle is just trying to start up for the first time, so. Um, but I do wanna also go to Cranking Spark. And that should be enough. Let's just add two degrees, just to make sure this thing is firing off in a healthy manner. Um, all this other stuff is good. Spark smoothing, you always want that disabled. Um, now, 
Let's go to our Blue Cat transmission tuner. Let's plug in some of the stuff we've got here. So the stall is probably, mm, I think a stock stall is like 1800 maybe. Um, the idle is gonna be 750. This is a 78 cable driven throttle body. It is not a um, drive by wire. Tire size, if we go to our calibration file, go up here to edit, gear and tire wizard. We have 44s and a 513 gear. So we're gonna go up here, we're gonna type in 44s and we have a 513 gear ratio. So all of the rest of it's 4L60, all of the rest of this stuff is the same. So, um, yeah, it's probably not gonna shift to 5900, but that's okay. Let's go to export window, okay? So we go back over here to transmission and let's just close this file out. So main shift table, let's copy this. Go in here and we will hit paste. We'll go over here, performance, and we'll hit paste. And we'll go to the next table. Wide open throttle shift speed. Paste. And this stuff works pretty good. Um, you know, if the customer comes back and just like hates it, then you can return it back to stock and just kind of go from there. Um, shift RPM. And we'll go to performance as well. And we'll go to next. And this is our converter lockup table. Um, this one would be kind of by feel, it's just no telling um, you know, what, what the customer's like. I definitely like mine to um, not lock um, in, let me cruise the way it is, performance, put that there. I definitely like mine to not lock until they're in fourth gear at about 55 miles an hour. So you just kind of have to, you know, Play that by ear. There is no, um, yeah, I guess there is. There we go. 254, 240. I'm not gonna, yeah, it's fine. That's how we use the Blue Cat tool. And if you want with the Blue Cat stuff, you can go up here to go file. Yeah, you can go save, and we'll call this Big Sexy. Since that's what he names it, <laughs> that's what we'll, that's what we'll label it as. So if that's what the customer wants, and that's what we will do. Um, not gonna really adjust the shift pressures or anything else. I think it should be good. I think that's pretty much everything that he asked for in this file and based on what the two, what the, um, um, what the data log says, which is not a whole lot. Um, catalytic overtemp is still enabled and I'm gonna leave long-term fuel trims on on this one just to kind of see, just because. Um, yeah, other than the misfires, it's pretty much it. You can see here, electronic throttle TPS max, it's zeroed out, which means it's not being used. Um, let's go over here to our torque limit. Let's go ahead and just make that 640. Not that it's gonna make that much torque, but just to be on the safe side. And we'll hit yes. I'm not gonna touch any of the other, uh, yeah, any of the other stuff. Let me see. I'm not gonna touch the abuse mode. I'm not gonna touch it if it doesn't need it. So. There we go. Um, this is kind of a basic file, um, and no, I, I will. We will do some uh, math and VE calibration uh, once the vehicle is up and running. But for right now, I just want it to start and idle and run and just do what do what he wants it to do. So we'll uh, go up here and save this and send it to him. And uh, yeah, that'll be that. So uh, there again, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below, and we'll see you on the next one.